It's Saturday, June 11th, 2022. We're out here uh, mostly to play bees again, but uh, I'm going to do a few things. My wife is coming along, and we're going to try to do another graph because the graph failed again. We're going to tear into this starter again, see if we can figure out what's going on in there. I've not had this much failure ever in my grafting career, which is like three years. <laughs> well, this is the third year. Uh, so we got to do that. So we can try another graft. I've grafted 90 cells so far. Not one even touched. I'm sure I'm doing the grafting part correct. Uh, so the other thing we need to do is check for some uh, stronger colonies, see if anybody can tolerate a second. The daytime highs and the overnight lows are starting to creep up and get a little bit warmer so they can tolerate that extra head space, get those queens really percolating that second box. Uh, we got honey flow coming up here in like 10 days, uh, solstice in 10 days at least. Uh, so honey flow is usually right around there. Um, if not, then the, the following week at some point. We're also going to just keep an eye for some equalizing. Uh, so I'm going to train Carol on, on that. Uh, she's just going to look at some averages and then maybe try and equalize out some of the averages as she goes. She's taken more of an interest in the beekeeping, which is just thrilling to me. And uh, so I just want to train her on some of the different things we do and some of the different things that I think she would enjoy doing. I think sometimes she just thinks, because I come in all sore and complaining, that it's just really hard work all the time and it's all heavy lifting. A lot of it is, but there's a lot of lower impact, uh, very, very enjoyable parts of it too. And, and, and I really want to share that with her. Uh, because I really enjoy that part, and I think she would too. She's interested in the bees. She's the reason I'm doing this. She wanted to be a hobby beekeeper. Uh, I found myself out of a job and uh, decided that I was going to try this to actually make some money. Uh, and now that I've realized I can't make any money at it, then it, I'm I'm hooked. Uh, so here's my here's my breeders sitting right by the camper. That's awesome. Here's my starter and my finisher. Uh, so we're going to try and do a graft. We try and get her set up to graft. We're trying different scenarios to to uh, give her magnification and lighting and stuff like that in order for her to be able to graft. I find that that's the one thing that a person has to figure out for themselves. You have to persevere at it uh, and try different things that will help you to see those larvae and pick those larvae up and deposit them in the cups. Can't really teach that very well can share what works for me you can share what works for other people but you got to figure that out for yourself and I think that's what makes some people uh, not do grafting uh, because they want a one-stop shop they want to just say tell me everything on how to do it well no you got to figure that out for yourself and unfortunately that's the way it is uh, so it's a beautiful 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 day here today um, th this is Saturday I didn't update Friday Friday I was uh, in the city again I uh, went to Bee Supply and, and got a few things. Got a few more of those Pro Nukes. I really like them at this point. Anyway, and uh, some more grafting cups. <laughs> you know you're going to need those when your builder doesn't work. I still don't know if they, I can reuse those cups. So we're still kind of experimenting on that. So my wife and I worked here for quite a while. We had some fun. You know, nothing too stressful. Uh, added seconds to just a few. We only worked a dozen colonies along here. There was two of them that uh, had to be taken out and shaken out. They, they just didn't get it. Um, if they were laying at all, I actually put them in a little nuke over here, over here, over here. See, these are my little resource nukes here. Not very good at that yet. And I've actually got a couple here that I made too, right there. Uh, so I'll move those back over there at some point. And kind of exciting, one thing we did also is you can see I've got my minis here. And we found some brood frames that had been laid up in the mini frames. So we put a brood frame and a shake or two of bees in each mini. And uh, so they're nice and stocked and ready to go. If my cell starter ever decides to actually start sell starting cells, we'll be good to go with that. So uh, I need to go and get my uh, temp queen strips and put in those because they're queenless so I need to keep them happy 
And so that's about it for today. And uh, <laughs> that's B is photobombing my video here. Uh, so anyway, that's it for today. We're packing it in. It's Monday, June 13th, 2022. And I'm sure hoping this is a lucky June 13th for me. Concerning this uh, cell starter, it's been very unlucky week. I started on this thing a week ago yesterday and uh, having no luck. So in the words of uh, Inigo Mentoya, when the job goes bad, you go back to the beginning. Last year I had very good success. My builder, or my cell starter, was in one of these poly six frame boxes. I stocked that thing right full of bees and appropriate resources and things went well. I decided to change it up a bit to these 10 frame boxes, etc., just so I could get more brood frames in there, really. That's what I was looking for. Things haven't worked out. So I'm gonna take a page out of Michael Palmer's book and uh, I'm gonna take this starter down. I'm gonna put that poly box in its place. I'm gonna put this metal queen excluder on top, uh, set another six frame shaker box on top of that. I'm gonna shake that entire uh, cell starter into that poly box through the queen excluder. Uh, so <laughs> if there's a queen in there, she must be pretty small if she gets through the queen excluder. Let's hope that's not going to be the case. Uh, keep looking for her. Uh, I did find one. Maybe there's two. I don't know. But there's something wrong with that starter. So that's what I'm fixing to do here. Uh, so I've got my queen excluder. I've got a frame of brood that I put in here just to attract them, give them something to climb on since there's no frames in there yet. Uh, but I'll shake a couple of these in there and then uh, I'll put the frames down so that the bees have somewhere to congregate. They, they like to climb on frames of comb, so I'll give them that. We're shaking uh, the, the one box and I've got the brood in the bottom now. So they're kind of going down. I didn't do the duct tape thing, maybe I should have. Okay, that's five frames and then I'll add my graft frame. That'll make six. It's Tuesday, June the 14th, 2022. I had to think about it there for a second. Things are kind of uh, running together. The days are running together uh, as they will this time of year for sure. I got that builder put together yesterday. Um, uh, I didn't get another graft done and then it started raining. So it's raining right now. Uh, we've been working bees, we've been assessing colonies, uh, making a few little nukes, and um, adding some seconds to the strong ones. We've got some rainy weather and some not cold but uh, overcast and maybe rainy, maybe not so great weather coming up. And then some really sunny and hot weather for a day or two. So you know what that means. That means your bees are going to leave so I want to make sure that doesn't mean that for me and I want to get my seconds on uh, I want to do assessments and make sure they're not too strong and they're getting ideas that they should just take off and find a new home so it's raining and what am I going to do when it's raining build frames I counted up all my boxes and frames in in my storage and what I have out there and how many colonies I have and it's looking like I need to build yet about 700 frames for the season. And the season starts in about a week or two. Maybe. <laughs> Can't say anything these days. Uh, this season is so messed up. I'm managing my bees like I would about a month ago. You know, three weeks at least uh, is what they're behind. Uh, so, you know, catch up on building these frames and then then at least we won't be behind in that capacity if if the season kind of straightens out and is any kind of normal. So I've got my favorite beekeeper here on the big screen in the shop. And I'm just going to turn that on. 
watch a, a long playlist of of that Canadian beekeeper and his blog uh, and just build frames that's all I'm doing not very interesting but uh, that's what I'm doing sorry the Sun is so bright I gotta wear my sunglasses today is Friday June 17th 2022 TGIF only one more day of work this week and maybe two <laughs> it's gonna be a warm weekend it's gonna be really nice I have an update in a couple days, so I'm going to have to run down what I've done uh, Tuesday and Wednesday this week. Actually, Wednesday and Thursday this week. I grafted again on Wednesday into my newly rebuilt starter colony here. And I'll take a look at that in just a few minutes here, see what's going on. And I'll show you, I actually added a little piece of queen excluder to the entrance. Just make sure there's no surprises come in there. That was uh, that was Wednesday, and what I also did Wednesday was, you see the apiary looks a little different today. There's doubles on almost everything here. It was a long day of work on Wednesday. Uh, I took all the apivar out and put doubles on everybody who deserved it, and the vast majority did deserve it and there were some that I was a little concerned with how strong they were I'm gonna pull some of those down this morning at least one of them uh, for a little project somebody phoned me in desperate <laughs> want of a nuke uh, two nukes and I agreed because yesterday which was Thursday I uh, went and got 10 queens so the one thing we did on Tuesday was we made 10 uh, small queenless nukes just to receive these 10 queens that I had spoken for they're the Ukrainian Carpathian queens they seem to be really good queens um, by anecdote and the ones that I did have they they hit the ground running and laid up really fast so I've got nine <laughs> the guy messages me he says he says, Brad, one of your queens died. And I, I'm thinking to myself, I'm pretty sure that's one of your queens died. <laughs> so we had a good laugh over that. Uh, so I got nine. Um, so I've got a, a queenless nuke here yet. I got a new pack of uh, uh, temp queen, which I meant to bring out with me. And I didn't. I was putting temp queen in my minis. Uh, we, we stocked some of the minis on uh, Tuesday. And... <clears throat> they don't have queens in them. They won't have queens in them for a while uh, Because of my obstinate builder And so they're here uh, I think they're I think there's one here that doesn't have anything in it uh, But the rest do so there's 11 I guess it would be And so I put temp queen sticks in most of those and I ran out there was one that didn't get it So I'll have to uh, I'll have to do that yet Temp queen I keep talking about temp queen it's a, a queen pheromone, QMP, Q, queen mandibular pheromone uh, stick, just synthetic stick. It looks like a tiny glow stick, really. And I actually cut them in half for the minis. Cut them in half and I put them in there. Um, they're not cheap. Um, I can't remember what I paid, but they're not, they're not cheap. They're like 30 bucks for a little pack of, I don't know whether there's 10 of them in there or something. So what that does is with something like a mating nuke, it just keeps the bees happy while there's no queen in there and they won't start laying eggs, laying worker situation. Uh, so that's that's just how that's used. You really should have some. They'll last three years in the freezer, the package says. And uh, it's, it's something that's really good to have. So if you come into a situation where suddenly you have a queenless colony and, and you don't want it to do anything, you have to wait a little while for a queen or something, and you just want to hold it, the way it is put some temp queen in there and it's exactly that it's a temporary queen so what I need to do here first this morning is I need to boost one of these little nukes that I made and I'll put them back in some pro nukes uh, I just transferred one one that I was going to sell and I decided not to I put it in a wooden box a six frame wooden box actually and then this guy phones me yesterday and and I agreed to sell two nukes so that'll be one of them and so I have to put it back in a pro nuke 
uh, bees are going to be wondering what in the world's going on in a different home every day. Uh, so I'll do that. And then I have to put one of the others that I made yesterday in the Pro Nuke. Uh, it'll be a little farther behind, but I'll boost it up with some brood. Um, and they should they should work out just fine. So that's that's today. I try to brush these off so we can see what's going on here. So these are these are reused cups. I didn't do anything with those. There's four accepted there. There's ten there. So that's fourteen. Uh, it's not a great percentage, but it's there, right? And a little bit later on, I'm going to transfer them to the the finisher. Uh, so now, I'm gonna, my my graft frame is in here, and I'm going to do another graft and stick it in my in my starter. I had a productive day here today. Um, I actually made a couple of nukes. Somebody phoned and wanted nukes, so it's hard to say no. Um, but anyway checked a few colonies for strength and they're building nicely they're you know we're getting close to solstice which they should be a lot farther along than they are but you know I can't complain they're building nicely so I did my graft my uh, my second well <laughs> I'm gonna call it my second graft is in the starter now you may notice I've actually put a little piece of clean excluder here on the entrance this, this is a no queen zone, so no queens allowed. And then my first graft frame is in the is in the finisher here. So I figure about three days in here I can move this this one over to here because this one will be capped in about another three days, uh, so they won't need to be fed at that point. So everybody's settled down here now. And they were all upset at me earlier for doing all that, but hopefully my hopefully my builder system is going to be working now. Got a lot of uh, a lot of ground to make up. Very very late, and then to have all this trouble and put me back another week or two uh, is really really annoying. But hopefully we'll make out okay. Have a great weekend.